So if you recall from our earlier barbecue tour of the South. Right, that was earlier this year. We stopped off in Hemingway, South Carolina at Rodney Scott's Barbecue. Right, that was his, this place's father's restaurant. Yeah, and this is his son. Mm -hmm. And when we, set, when we ate there, we said, well, when we get to Charleston later on in the year, we're gonna go ahead and visit the son's restaurant because it's a little bit different. Yes, the, and the, they're still known for their vinegar pepper sauce, but yep. they do do a little bit of things different here. So we're gonna go ahead and try and see it and compare it to the one in Hemingway, which was certainly, I think, a different vibe. So everything smells wonderful here. You can smell the wood smoke that they're using to cook the pork, and they're very super friendly here. So what do you have there, see? Well, we have two sides. We have potato salad, the beans, we have some bread, and the barbecue, and this is extra sauce. So the sauce is basically a white vinegar with bunches of different types of pepper spice in it, like paprika, um, some cayenne pepper, and some red pepper flakes, and it's got a little bit of hint of citrus to it as well, so it's got a really mild kick. Pork is soft and excellent. What so happened, see, they, they They offered to give me a taste of the skin right off the hog there. That is so amazing. Mmm. So good. film a proper review while it was eating. was pretty packed in there, so we didn't want to interrupt anybody's dinner. But yeah, and the music was so loud we would have gotten copywritten. So, yeah, um, yeah what did you think? I thought the sandwich was fantastic. I yep. thought the sauce was really, really good. I may come back here and get a bottle of the sauce, so uh, should be pretty good. The collard greens were awesome. Yes. Uh, the coleslaw was a little bland. We actually had to put some of the vinegar sauce on it right. to make it work. But the, the cracklin, the pork cracklins were very, very I good. I don't like cracklin and those were excellent mm -hmm. so i actually enjoyed those and the price is very reasonable here yep and so i think it was um it came to like 40 i think the sandwich was 11.99 something like that so and yeah the the cider and the beer was six dollars yeah. so that wasn't bad at all you know it, it, i was expecting you know when we were researching this there was this rift between the father and dad and and, I, and they said that Charleston was so upscale. I mean, this was pretty much down home too. It was, it, was, it felt, had a local vibe to it. Yeah, it wasn't like white tablecloths and stuff like that that I thought so. And especially since it's north of the main area in Charleston, even though yep. it's a, it is on King Street. So overall, good experience. It Glad was. we tried both of them. Mm -hmm. Now it's off to continue our adventures. Well, there you have it. We hope you enjoyed that short film series on Rodney Scott's in Charleston, South Carolina. Some great barbecue. Yes, and even though that was filmed last year, we are off on our new adventures here in the spring as we just picked up the love sub. Yeah, we're live right now. Woohoo! So and be sure also to check out our new merch. We have now embroidered baseball caps. I've been waiting to get these for a long time. Yep. So check it out in the video's description. Absolutely. So if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. And if you think we've earned a subscription, Click to subscribe. And comment below if you've been to Charleston recently or if you've tried some new barbecue dishes. Because we come out with RV and Airstream related short film series like this one every now and then. Thanks for watching.